men's lives, changing right? people's lives, changing people's lives, creating a pathway. That's right? true. And assisting people to see maybe a better vision and a version of themselves that they can be. Yeah. And they'd be a providing mechanism of the groundwork from yeah. there. They got to walk it. But if I can teach them maybe how to walk it as well, by just not giving it to them, teach them how to walk it. Yeah. And we, we come from, we're, we're, we all bring it all from experience, our personal experience, yeah. you know, of us, you know, getting out of shape and not living right and not being focused on certain areas. And man, once you do, it changes everything, it changes everything. So on that note, then let me ask you this question. Let me ask you a couple of questions. Somebody's depressed. What do you tell them? Think cap your thoughts. <laughs> um, well, I mean, if, if someone's going to tell me this, then I'm, I'm going to assume is someone tell me this or is this just a, yeah, man, I'm depressed. Okay. What do I, what do I, right. Josh, what do I do? You got a client that says I'm depressed. What do you do? I'm like, okay. In my, in my mind, like, so an internal dialogue is kind of happening. I'm like, okay, there's a trust mechanism here. Like, I'm not going to fucking tell someone I'm depressed if I don't really want them to maybe ask yeah. or if I don't trust them enough to tell them that they give, wrong. give me something. Yeah. So to me instantly right there, I'm, I'm at like a handshake of, of trust. Like yeah. that's the way I, I take it. So I don't take it lightly. I'm not just yeah. like, yeah, cool. You're, you know, like the road's going to be happy. I'm like, fuck man, this guy's in like, he's entrusted in me to yeah. tell me this. So I got to try and figure out like what's going on. Like what, what are you depressed about? You know, like, like, is it something? Is it many things? Do you not know what it is? Like, and then if I can find the, like the why or the mechanism that, that they're, thing that they're depressed about and, or are they doing anything negative? Like, so you are depressed. That's a, that's a feeling. That's a thought. That's normal, but like, now what are you doing about it? Nothing. Like, like nothing. But what does that nothing look like? Because that nothing is something. Sitting on the couch. Okay, so so it's all something. Okay, sitting on the couch. What are you doing sitting on the couch? Watch the TV. Playing on my phone. How many hours a day are you doing it? Don't know. All the time. Like, like, or, or like how are you eating? Shit. You ordering food? Yeah. All right. Every meal or like just one meal? Or? Pretty much. Drinking? Oh, yeah. All right. So then all these alert mechanisms were going in my head. I'm like, fuck, what? you're literally not doing and nothing, but you're doing something. Yeah. So then you got to figure out how to chip away at, in my perspective, is you got to assess the person, right? Some people can drop all those habits because they can find a thing and they can just charge forward. Yeah. But other people, it might be a bigger thing, you know, on them. So you got to just got to start chipping away. So any, anything else negative? Okay, other than sitting on the couch and eating like shit and fucking drinking. You know, is there anything else negative? Those are physical things that you're either doing or not doing. Is there anything else negative? Like, what's the internal dialogue? What are we thinking about? Yeah. And try to figure out those mechanisms. Because so now you have a mental mechanism that you're thinking about. And then you have the physical mechanism that you're thinking about. And although they overlap, they're also individual at the same time. So it's, it's, it's data points. It's a, it's a lot of, lot of data collection. And as someone begins to tell you something... In my perspective, you kind of got to keep asking them. Because the first thing you're going to say is, it's like, what are those things you go to the, you know, you go to the doctor and like, oh, do you drink at all? Yes. How much do you drink? Uh, one drink, you know, on, on Friday. Maybe, maybe, maybe two. Yeah, that's it. Like, you're fucking, okay. Let alone the guys at home, you know, every night, you know, drinking like eight drinks yeah. or a, a 12 pack or something like that. Like, yeah. So he's got a little bit of truth in there, but it might not be the full truth. All right, so you have to in my in my mind, I gotta figure out like how much is this guy really telling me? It's not, I don't want to call him out as a liar so, because he's giving me trust that he's telling me something. Yeah. So once you once you get unpacked that, what are you telling him? Do you like the where you're at? Do you, do you enjoy? Oh, absolutely what you're not. Doing? Yeah, of okay. course not. Yeah. Like let, let's start listing all these things out of, of what what you're doing and the fact that you don't enjoy it. So we need to, we need to get, get that observation mechanism on hold. That what you're currently doing is not yielding what you want. Right. And you understand that. So then we can start building a groundwork of a schedule and a pathway to get you out of that hole. Like, yeah. do you want to come out of that hole? That's a great question, right? I mean, seriously. Yeah. Like, just because I tell you I'm sitting on the couch and I'm depressed, it's pretty, some people might think it's kind of easy or natural. Like, I'm just going to be here. Do you really? This is where I live now. Like, yeah. do you want, do you want to change? Yeah. Because you have to want to. What does that change look like? Yeah. Effort. What do you want to change? Yeah. Like, what vision do you see yourself, you know, in in a perfect world? Yeah. Right? Like, this is all behind you and done, whether it's a year, six months, or whether it's 10 years from now, whatever that is. Like, what is your vision of, like, a perfect world? It doesn't mean you really have it or it's clear, 
but I want to start getting that person to think in a state to where things can be better, they will be better, and they can be beautiful. And then you just start chipping away at that. Like, okay. Oh.